Okay, and the fun continues here with the content pages. The next one we'll work on is the newsletter. So let's just hop right in here. We'll go back here. I'm actually going to close the products page. And uh, the default page. And we'll open up the newsletter. Let's see, I might have it open here already. Here it is. And so again, the first thing we want to do is wrap this whole thing in a div. So this whole content section. And I should have left that other page open because we'll grab the class information from that. So uh, let's see. We're going to leave the data source out of this, but we'll get everything else inside this div. And then we'll go back to the about page. Grab the class information from here. Put that in the newsletter. Up here in the div. And then I'm also going to go and copy the H2, the heading, to put at the top of the page here. We'll copy that. Paste that here. And then just change this to the newsletter. So we're going to actually, let's see, put all of this inside of it. So we're getting some of the database stuff inside there as well. OK. So let's save this, and we'll take a look at it and then see what we need to fix. So maybe you can see the importance of getting one page to look the way that you want, and then it's pretty easy to go through and set up the other pages to look that same way. OK, so this is looking decent. Now I want to do something this first sentence about this is the current newsletter, something you can also view old newsletters. But then we've got all this other text down here. Let's look at it here in Chrome. And looks OK. And let's look at it here in Firefox. So you notice Firefox, we've got something going on where all of our text is looking real big. Um, so something's up with that. We'll see if we can't figure out what's going on with that. But otherwise, things are looking pretty good. You know, again, we're just looking to get it in this big white square. And so I'll we'll come back and figure this out, and we'll take a look at for getting this text to display consistently in the next video.